Episode 7 of 4 Minutes begins with Tonkla's drunk dad killing their cat. Tonkla tries to stop him but the dad beats him up until Dome comes to his rescue. The brothers go to the cops who refuse to help. One day, Tonkla pushes their father down the stairs and simply watches as a frantic Dome calls for an ambulance. After Title throws a memory card with the dashcam footage of him and Great dumping Dome's body, a father-son fisherman duo find it. They take it to the chief who breaks it and threatens him to keep quiet. After the chief takes over Dome's case, Wynn surreptitiously asks Juan, the forensics guy, about the report. It's revealed that the blood on the rock is actually Dome's and the fingerprint is that of Title's. However, Juan was forced to alter the results so the report is useless. Wynn then looks at the dorm CCTV footage on the night of the murder. He sees that it is edited and threatens a security guard until he shows the real footage. Within it, Title and Dome fight until the latter is rendered unconscious. The guard gives a copy to Wynn and then alerts someone. Wynn updates Tonkla but reveals that since the cops won't help they will leak the footage online. This should be enough to force the cops to arrest Title. Tonkla is skeptical and he hallucinates his dead cat. However, before Wynn can give the footage to the reporters, Title's men shoot him and take the USB. Tonkla could care less that Wynn is shot and is annoyed when he learns that the detective didn't even back up the footage. Wynn is still hopeful as he plans to look for more evidence, but Tonkla does his own research. He goes to the riverfront and happens upon the fisherman duo. The father stays quiet, but the son decides to help. He has a copy of the dashcam footage of Great, Title and Dome on his phone and shows it to Tonkla. At home, Tonkla looks up the two boys and is shocked to learn that Great is Korn's brother. He again sees his dead cat walk past a gun and he smiles as an idea forms. We can assume that after this, he kills Title and shoots Great. At present, the Surratts are going into hiding. They can't find Great, and Korn is tasked with finding him and destroying a phone that has all the shareholders' details on. Korn heads to Great's condo and is shocked to learn he has been shot. Meanwhile, Den is conducting interviews for his research when Luckwell shows up with heart-shaped candy. As they talk about his research, she also shares that she felt she would have been stuck in the four-minute limbo forever and died in the real world if she had not come to her senses. And it was her then-boyfriend's voice that brought her back. Den reasons that hearing is the last sense to go before one dies, so it makes sense that a loved one's voice would be so impactful. She ends up flirting with him, saying that she is grateful to her ex, so she can be in the real world talking to Den, which has him blushing. During his break, as he heads out with Nurse B, he spots Great being taken to the ER. He calls Time, who rushes to the hospital. Den comforts him as Time feels guilty of his last interaction with Great. On top of that, he believes that Great will die because of his decisions. Den claims he may have a chance to fix things and give Time his research paper, which now includes Luckwa's revelation of waking up on hearing her ex's voice. Time visits Great, who is in a coma, and asks him to forgive him. It's the words that Great had seen on the drink Time brings him when his four-minute limbo glitches. Back in the real world, Time hopes that they can go out for a proper meal once Great wakes up. Time then goes home to see that his house is trashed. He hurriedly video calls his grandmother and is relieved when she picks up. However, his happiness is short-lived as Warit shoots her. He reveals that he ordered the hit on Time's parents and wanted to kill him too. Warit's assassin pops up from behind Time and shoots him. We then cut to a flashback of Great as a child. His mother, Wiria, is still Mr. Surratt's mistress. He is pretty loving but claims that he cannot divorce Korn's mother yet as his business is in trouble and he needs her help with money. Maria steals her chance and introduces him to investors who turn out to be the Pukorns, Time's parents. They own gambling dens and agree to a partnership with Sharap. While the grown-ups discuss business, Great disturbs Time who is busy playing games. They become fast friends as they play together and eat candy. They head out for ice cream but Great drops his as a dog starts barking. Time protects him and also gives him his Game Boy to compensate for the fallen ice cream. A while later, Sharat learns that the Pecorns are being investigated. To ensure that they are not caught, Warit offers to clean up the mess. Sharat tells him not to kill the Pecorns but Warit simply smiles. Suspecting a betrayal, Mrs. Bacorn leaves Time with her mother and promises to come back soon. Not wanting to tell what's going on in front of Time, she gives her diary to her mum. Back in the present, Time is shot in the stomach. He tries to run, but the assassin catches up and shoots him again. It's 11pm and Great goes into cardiac arrest. 
At the same time, Time 2 goes into cardiac arrest and wakes up in his 4 minute limbo. His grandmother is cooking and he helps her. He suddenly spots his mother's diary on the top shelf, but the grandma claims she didn't show it to him as it wouldn't change anything but he is angry. And at the end of episode 7, she gives him a choice to keep the diary or put it back. It's pretty crazy, but every week we think that we've understood the story and this Ty BL comes up with yet another plot twist and changes the game. Now we have times four minutes in the last minute of the second last episode of the whole show. Is anyone else panicking? Because how are they going to resolve everything? Bring everyone back to life and also give the boys a happy ending. It seems like a pretty tough ask, right? And not to flex, but we kind of did see times four minute coming with the whole limbo reveal in episode five. We simply wish it didn't happen because we want another five episodes of his utopia. But I guess we'll have to wait and see how it all goes down. But for now, let's talk about the timeline of Tonkla's story because episode seven just added a couple more pieces to the puzzle we thought was already complete. We start with the dad, who looks like after Tonkla hurt his family, Korn helped the brothers move out and that's when Dome spots title and view fighting at the dorms, which happened to be the catalyst for everything. The locals finding the dash cam footage leads to the chief taking over Wynn's case. Our love struck useless detective who has never heard of backup goes to the school, questions Mod who feigns ignorance and then Title sends in that threatening note. And after Title's thugs steal the CCTV footage and Tonkler talks to the fisherman, he kills Title and shoots Great. And with Korn dealing with Great, he must have insisted that the cops and Wynn arrest Tonkler, which is when Wynn learns that Tonkler has fled in the previous episode. Whew, that did take a minute to sort out, or four if you pardon the pun. At least now we can fully focus on times four minutes in the finale, which you already know is going to be pretty nerve wracking. And of course, we will be there to recap every second of it. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like or subscribe to the channel. Your support is very much appreciated. I'm Greg Wheeler and from all of us over here at The Review Geek, we'll see you on the next video.